Welcome to another episode of The Rundown. This week, there's a blog that lists the do's and don'ts for voicing our political opinions online. All Hands breaks down what you need to know about Sailor 2025, and the Association of Naval Service Officers will host their annual symposium. As the race for president draws closer, it's important to touch back on what we can and cannot say regarding political expression on social media sites. An article on Navy Live provides service members and DOD personnel the do's and don'ts for voicing our political opinions on sites like Facebook and Twitter. For service members, you can voice a political opinion on social media, but you should make clear that the views stated are your own and not those of the DOD. Remember, as service members, you cannot post or make direct links to a political party or candidate, but you can like or follow the page of a party or candidate. Read more on the do's and don'ts in the blog on Navy Live that also provides a link to the Public Affairs Policy Guidance NAV Admin. You've all heard of Sailor 2025 and how it's designed to help modernize the Navy, respond to market challenges, and bring in the best and brightest sailors. An article by All Hands this week covers what sailors need to know about Sailor 2025. The article states that our personnel initiatives fall under three major categories, modernizing the personnel system, modernizing the training process, and enriching Navy culture. Read the article by going to the All Hands homepage. Also, the Association of Naval Service Officers will host its annual Eastern Region Symposium September 7th at Fort Belvoir Officers Club. The symposium brings together service members and civilian executives to discuss educational and professional development through training sessions. This year's theme is Taking Charge of Your Career and Future. Read our story on Navy.mil for more information or visit www.ansomil.org. One final note, there's an important survey that may soon hit your email inbox and your feedback is critical in giving information to military leadership and Congress about your workplace. The 2016 Workplace and General Relations Survey of Active Duty Members starts hitting inboxes Monday, but you can check your eligibility now. Does your workplace reflect military values? Share your experiences. Check your survey eligibility at www.dodsurveys.mil. Well, that's all for this week. For any questions, send us a message at usnpeople at gmail.com. For the Chief Naval Personnel, I'm MC2 LJ Burleson. Thanks for watching.